into our teacher start flipping houses or if you're doing it how to do it bigger so i'm talking about the tools i was going to use weapons but i don't want it to sound adversarial um the tools that we use with sellers to buy properties at a discount now remember if this is just about price oh, flies up here down. if this is just about price you're probably not going to buy the house at a discount because you're buying it less than what they can get for it most of the time but yesterday i spoke about post-closing possession that's one of the tools um, sometimes that's the only thing that'll make a seller consider or agree to sell a house to you at a discount. The other one is speed. So when we say speed, people think that I mean I can buy your house in two days. The truth is, in New York, very hard to buy something in less than three weeks. It takes a long time to get title, and it's not simple. In other parts of the country, you can probably get it done in a week, get title. There are places maybe you can get title done in two days. It depends on where you are. But I have bought more houses from people who want... To know they have a contract and have sort of an open-ended contract so they don't know where they're going or they are waiting for something to happen like a builder to finish their house and it keeps getting delayed they just want to know that they have a and i always talk about how great the connection is and i just lost the connection they just want to know they want to be on a buyer's timeline that's fine but when that buyer needs to move their kids into school or move out of their house you're contractually obligated to sell it to them but if you sell it to me you're going to make less money but i'll wait if you need more time so Speed, I mean, I put that in the title, but the truth is, it's usually the opposite of speed. Sometimes it's lack of speed. It's the point that they don't have to be on a buyer's time, that I'll give them as much time as they need. Sometimes they want, sometimes they want to close quickly, and I can close as quickly as I can, depending where it is. If it's Texas, maybe I can do it in a week. If it's New York, maybe three weeks. But very often it's that they want more time on the back end, and they can't get that if they sell their property. So you want to mention that, right? So you want to mention the option of post-closing possession if this if this situation warrants like we discussed yesterday you want to mention the fact that i'll close whenever you want right that can be and this is what i say it's exactly what I say. i'll close whenever you want that could be in a couple of weeks and that could be in several many months if you want right but i'm going to close when you want you don't have to close when a typical buyer is going to insist so that is another tool to use i'm going to do a series of other tools that i use to buy properties from sellers at a discount because you cannot make it about price thank you very very much for watching